production is Kel. Oh my goodness, it's your boy Neo. The one and only. <laughs> God is good. That's right, that's right, all the time. Yes, sir. <laughs> so what, what's the good word for you today, man? You gonna call me every day now? Yeah, I'm gonna hit you up every time I get some, you know. Oh, of course. You yeah, know? every time you got some, I ain't, yeah. I'm All right, man. All right, now, now, now let's get straight into it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now look. Um, I, I I was doing a little reading, and uh, in the King James it, or the New King James? Huh? In the King James or the New King James? King James. Uh, a couple of King James things, you know, doing my research and reading, and uh, there's a couple of places that I guess it uh talks about um, you know, you know, back to you know, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, a lot of it says that uh, you know, it as far as uh. Jesus Christ's uh, commitments, you know, it, it do it do got baptism in there. You and know, his commandments, you say? Yeah. No, his commandments are love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and then love you know, it's like over ten commandments, though. It's a lot. From it's Jesus? like, yeah, it's like over. It's it's, it's a lot. It's a whole. It's also it's like it's a whole well, lot of commandments. Well, well, yeah, but Jesus said you do these two and you fulfilled all the law. Oh, okay. So, uh, you know, so. It says, be ye holy for the Lord your God is holy. It says, flee fornication. He, he has a lot of commandments, but he, he said, but do these two and you fulfilled all of the law. So, um. Yeah, so, I mean, but but we can look at that, man. Again, it doesn't say water baptism. See, men want you to say water baptism. Bible, the Bible doesn't say water yeah, baptism. Yeah, that's, that's that's what the thing about it is. I was reading it, and it, even when it do say baptism, it's not it don't about say salvation. water baptism. And it doesn't say water baptism, exactly. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There's There's only one baptism, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. That's the baptism of the Holy Spirit. It's not water baptism. Man wanna, wants to add the word water there. Well, you know, if you add to God's word, it becomes a lie. So we cannot add the word water there if it's not water there. And it doesn't say baptized to be saved. The closest verse is in Mark 16. Um, 16. He that believeth. And is baptized. Is is the key word here. Is 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 an action that happens to you. It's a present tense. It's not something you do. So who is doing the baptizing? I believe this is the Holy Ghost that baptizes you. He is baptized. Who so do that it, believeth do it, do it. and is do it. baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. It didn't say who he that is baptized not shall be damned. So the 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 thing that qualifies you to be saved is is believing, but the person that believes is baptized because that's yeah. part that's part of being sealed with the with the Holy Ghost, and that's why I'll show you in Scripture. Yeah, I was reading it, and I and I and I and I have been seeing a baptism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in Ephesians 1, this is what it says in Ephesians 1, 13. It says, in whom ye also trusted, so he's talking to believers, ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth. So faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So once you hear the preaching of the word of God, what happens? The gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, so you hear it and you believe it, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Well, God promised the church the Holy Spirit. 
So once you believe, you're sealed. That's the baptism, the Holy Ghost baptism. So that's what I preach. You're baptized by the Holy Ghost. That's Jesus. Jesus is Jesus is God, and Jesus Jesus is the Spirit. God is a Spirit. So once you believe, God seals you, and that's the baptism, not water baptism. Well, what do you think about they say in Acts twenty two verse sixteen? They say, and now they say. It's saying, now, why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized. And why are reading in the King James? That's why you're confused. It says, and now, why tarriest thou? So, I, I, you know, I would definitely encourage you to read the King James, not the New no, King that's, James. No, that's, that's, the King, that's King James. No, it's not. It didn't say, why are you waiting? That's the New King James. That's not the King James. Or can, the King James says, tarriest thou. It uses thou, these, thus. See, the New King James doesn't. It, it changes God's word. That's why you're confused. And then it says, and be baptized and wash away your sins. You can't wash away your sins with water. <laughs> Jesus washes away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. <laughs> be baptized. So be baptized is when you're being, you're being, it's happening to you. Not something that you do. And it say go get baptized. It says be baptized. That happens to you. The Holy Spirit. Oh, so you said that's the New King James, huh? Yeah, I'm saying the New King James is what's confusing you. Yeah. That's, that's why I said get rid of that book because that's not God's word. It changes words. So why, it, so why do I keep hearing that it's the same thing? It's just worded differently. Because men lie. All men are liars. Let God be true and every man a liar. It's not the same thing. If it, it's a lie. So one, if, if, if one book says one thing and another one says another thing, only one has to be true or they both are false. You know, one is true and one is a lie. And there's no errors in the King James. There's errors in the New King James. I can show you errors. So, okay, what about, what about, cause I'm, okay, um, Okay, it say water baptism is a commandment. Who says that? And uh, that's what people will say. So if you love me, keep my commandments. I guess it will. No, it's not a commandment. People will say that. The Bible doesn't say that. This is what the Bible says in Matthew 3.11. This is John the Baptist saying, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, not salvation. Repentance doesn't save you. Repentance is just like a, a, the, the Bible doesn't define the term, but man has defined it as a change of thinking. That's it. That's all it's doing. It's changing your thinking. See? But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. That's Jesus. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. It's very clear that Jesus baptized with the Holy Ghost, not with water. So if you, if Jesus is our Savior, first of all, not water. So if Jesus only baptized you with the Holy Ghost, then only Jesus can save you. Water can't save you. Jesus is the one doing the saving. Well, uh, well, this is the thing. When it say, well, in mine, I guess wherever I got this from, in the book that I have, whatever, it will say that now why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized and wash your sins away, calling on the Lord, calling on the name of the Lord. See, when you say baptize, the person will say or people will say he's talking about water baptism. But my thing is it didn't say that, though. Thank you. So what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe your sins are washed away by no, no, no. blood? But, but people say that, but that's what he was talking about. I know. That's what people say. But what does the Bible say? The Bible doesn't say that. People will lie to you. So don't believe people. Believe the Bible. If it didn't say water, then don't believe water. But it will say... Luke four forty six to say, but why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do things which I say? See, that's a works based salvation. You see what I'm saying? 
So that's what they're trying to get you to believe is works. Do things that I say. That's works. So then you can boast. You can say, well, God, I should go to heaven because I did what you told me. You told me to get water baptized, so I did that. What about the cross? That has nothing to do with the cross. Jesus did it. We didn't do anything. We can't do anything to please God. Say, without faith, it's impossible to please God. And then say, without water baptism. So you've got to be careful what you're believing from man. The Bible is very clear that Jesus is our Savior. He's the propitiation for our sins, not water baptism. Water baptism does not wash our sins away. Okay, what about this? Matthew 3, verse 2, it says, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It was. Jesus was alive. He hadn't died on the cross and rose from the grave. Jesus is the king. And guess what? The king has the keys to the kingdom. The kingdom was at hand. It's right there before them. And Jesus hadn't died and paid for their sins yet, so he was going to usher in his earthly kingdom at that time. But they did they rejected him, so he went to the cross and died and rose again. So that gospel is a different gospel. We preach the death, burial, and resurrection. We don't preach the kingdom. See? There's no way yeah, you can preach the death, burial, and resurrection because he hadn't died yet. Oh, Okay. So it was a no I saw, and it was a, I tell you no. But unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Perish Perish means die, and that's true. Unless you repent, you will likely perish. You all will die. We're all going to perish. Perish is of of the flesh. The soul and spirit does not perish. It's eternal. It doesn't perish. It's our body that perishes. So, yes, die on this earth, yeah. If if, if you live a, a ungodly life, you will perish, yes. That doesn't save your soul. <laughs> what saves your soul is Jesus, again. The Lord is not slack concerning his tongue. Mm-hmm. How you how you know everything I read? Because I know the scripture, but go ahead. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us, to us word, word, us word, That's the key not word. willing, not willing that in, that any yes. should perish, but, but all should that all should. Yep. So if you look at this, he's talking to believers. See. This is this is another uh this is actually Peter and he's talking to believers and he's saying the Lord is not slack concerning his promises. So he promised us eternal life, he promised us the spirit, he promised us rewards in heaven, he promised us mansions in heaven, he's promised us every, uh, everything, grace. So he's not slack concerning his promises. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering to who? To usward, the believers, we're already saved. That's why that usward is important. He's long-suffering to usward, not willing that any of us, the believers, should perish. See that? But yeah. they all should come to repentance. He doesn't want us to die. He wants us to all come to repentance so then our flesh won't die on this earth. So he's not slack concerning his, his promises as some men count slackness. They, that's all they're saying. It's not saying anything about salvation. This is talking about, hey, if you want to live a long life, God is going to promise you the many blessings that he's going to promise you. So remember that. And he's not willing to kill any of us. It's not that he wants us to die. He wants us to live a long life. But guess what? Moses sinned against God, and God killed him. He didn't see the promised land. He wanted Moses to see the promised land. But Moses sinned. No man is above sin. No man is above judgment. What about repent, therefore, and be converted? Be converted? Yeah, let's go there. That that your sins may be blotted out. That's uh, Acts 3, verse 3, 19. All right. uh, Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. Okay. All right. All right, the God of Abraham. Where, where are we at? Acts 16? Acts 3, 3 16? Oh, no, 3, 3, what is 3 it? 19. 19, okay. All right, so people don't read. 
says, and now, brethren, I walk that through ignorance ye did it. See, ignorance. See, remember, repentance is like change of mind. Ignorance is lack of knowledge. So in 3.17, he says, and now, brethren, he's talking to believers, I walk that through ignorance ye did it, as did also your rulers. But those things which mm-hmm. God before has shewed, shewed by the mouth of his, all his prophets, that Christ should suffer, he hath so fulfilled. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refresh, refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. See? So he's talking to, actually this is not, let me see, he's talking to his uh, Hebrew brethren. So when he's brethren here, let's not say, folks, this is a uh, Hebrew brethren. So the the key word is be converted. Remember, be that's that's happening to them. How they being converted when they believe. See, where we at? Uh, Nineteen. You repent, ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So this is uh, definitely not water baptism. So no water baptism. That's what it is. Yeah, no water baptism. And he shall send Jesus Christ. See, when you're converted, you didn't say get converted. You're going to be converted. See, all of these things happen to you. Repentance happens to you. Faith happens to you. only thing that you must do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And everything else happens to you by God. We can harden our hearts against God, and we can, and it tells you, um, quench not so, the spirit. That's why I would say, like, because, you know, you know how most people say that you have to repent and you have to be baptized. But if you genuinely believe in Jesus Christ, the way that you're breaking it down, if anything, believing will, will be repentance. No, well, be- repentance comes after believing, so you can't change it. So this is what Second Timothy two says. All right, Second Timothy two twenty six or twenty uh, twenty five. It says, or twenty four. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If God her adventure, that's perhaps, will give them repentance. See, we don't repent on our own. God gives us repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. So when I preach the truth to someone in meekness and they believe it, God will give them the repentance so then they can acknowledge it. The light goes off in their head and say, oh, that's what, it, oh, Jesus is God. Oh, all I have to do is believe. Oh, and that's that's what God gives them, that repentance. So we don't do it. God does it. So we believe, and God gives us the understanding. Okay, okay, okay. okay. But, just, like, um, just like when Peter, when when Jesus asked, who do you say that I am? Who do men say that I am? And then say, who do you say that I am? And then he said, the Son of God, where it said, flesh and blood have not revealed that unto you, but my Father in heaven. See, God has to give you the revelation of who he is and what his gospel is. So God gives you repentance. God converts you. God gives you the Holy Spirit. God baptizes you into his body, his one Lord, one faith, one body, one one baptism. Um, God is the one that does all the work. It's for by grace are you saved through his grace through his faith and that not of yourselves if there's anything not of yourselves um, it's a gift of God not of works lest any man should boast if there's anything that you can boast about then guess what it's not of God it's of you and you saying you can save yourself and God is saying no you can't God is the one that gets all the glory not you not me so just believe only on Jesus the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple, man. And people want to add to it and boast about it and brag on it. On the day of judgment, God gets all the glory, not us. 
we're the ones that are in trouble. He's the reason. We're the ones that he came down here. God, Christ died for sinners. So I'm one of them. So I don't deserve heaven. But thank God for Jesus. He's given me the right to heaven through believing in his work on the cross. And that's it. So believing, on, believing on the words will get you in heaven. Believing on the gospel of Jesus Christ. That he died, he rose again, and that he is God in the, in the, in the flesh. And that's what makes you a Christian. You're a Christian, right? Yeah, I'm a Christian um, because I believe in the gospel of Christ, the Messiah. So Christian basically means that if you're a Christian, that just means that you believe that Jesus died on the cross. And rose from the grave in three days, yep. That's okay. What, that's what a true Christian is in, in the in the Bible. Yeah. So man has already taken that term and, and messed it up. And, you know, Oprah calls herself Christian, but yet she doesn't believe that Jesus is God. She's not a Christian. People people use that term. You know, Mormons call themselves Christians. Jehovah's Witnesses call it. Everyone calls it. But the Bible what? identifies oh, what a Christian is. Do you know what a deacon is? Um, yeah, there's only two offices. There's a, a bishop and a deacon. And that's in First Timothy 3. And so it's not of a church. <laughs> there's only one church. It's not at a location. It's in the house. It's not a building of me, it's not a business, it's not it's not a position, it's a work. So the deep so, so it's, it's a work. So so the government look at churches as businesses. Well they are businesses. Those are businesses. That's not God's church. God's church is So the bishop church. so the bishop of the church is a person that's getting a lot of money. Ooh, in this man made, yeah, of course, but not in God. So there's no money in in in, uh, in, in God's ministry. He doesn't. Care so you know, certain, certain, you know, certain people go to church, and uh, once they pass a thing down, when they want your money, a lot of people feel bad if they don't if they don't put no money in there. Exactly. That's a business. That's what I'm saying. That's why I wouldn't waste my time there. Yeah. God, God doesn't want your money. He wants your heart. He wants you to believe in, in Jesus. That's what he wants. And once you believe in Jesus, he wants you to uh, to put on the whole armor of God in Ephesians 6. 6 10 okay, what, a, what about the, uh, let me ask you this then. What about the the marriage part? Like, is it true that you really don't suppose to have no conduct unless you until you get married of course it says flee fornication fornication is sex uh, uh, before marriage so a lot of people are going to go to hell for that again Jesus it's, you don't go to hell based off of what you do you could go to hell based off of your non-belief in Jesus Christ Jesus already paid for all sins. He paid for fornication. He paid for every sin. Because, because he knew that we were sin? Yeah, paper copy would be good. Yeah. That's why I have a copy of it. If you email it. And also email it to me. I'll put it. Yeah, cool. Thanks. And we'll go over this in a minute. All right, so I don't have, I don't have long. I hope I'm answering your questions, man. Yeah, you know, I just was, uh, I would just. You know, because you said the belief, but I have been seeing, uh, I have been seeing baptism, and I was just thinking to myself, well, what, what the thing is, what, what Kel is, he just, he just feel that nothing that's saying water baptism, though. <laughs> it doesn't. You t show me where it says that. Not for, in those verses that they're showing. Well, this is the thing right here that 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 some some somebody that I was talking to earlier say that this right here is the proof that they that is water baptism. Now listen to this. This is in First Peter. No, no, no. Yeah, one Peter, whatever. Three twenty twenty one, whatever. I don't I don't really know how to put all these together, but all right. Now check this out. It's a who formerly were disobedient 
when once the divine long suffering waited mm -hmm. in the days of Noah while the ark was being prepared. And you're reading the wrong, uh, let me read it from uh, the King James. I only want to hear that spirit, man. You, you're reading it from the wrong thing. <laughs> All right, First Peter 1, I think it's 20, let's see. Uh, is it one or where is it? First Peter two. Where is it at? It's a, it's a uh, I guess it's uh, First Peter three. Oh three. Three oh. twenty and it's twenty. Oh yeah. It's, it's from twenty and twenty one. If right. somebody said that's the proof that it's water baptism. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I love that. So I want to take you straight there. So, um, and if we look at three eighteen. All right, through 22. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins. See, once. He didn't suffer twice. He didn't suffer on a cross and in hell, so people are wrong. He suffered once on a cross. Suffer for sins, the just for the unjust. See, he's just, we're unjust. So there's no way that we can, and we are sinners, so there's no way that we can save ourselves. Water baptism can't save us. That he might bring us to God. Who does that? He brings us to God, not water baptism. All right. And Jesus has the living water, which is the spirit, being put to death in the flesh. See, his flesh died, not his soul, not his spirit, but quickened by the spirit. See, we all are quickened by the spirit. By which he also went and preached unto the spirits in prison. Jesus went to preach the gospel in, 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 in hell. He didn't go to suffer. Which sometime were disobedient. So he's preaching to the disobedient sinners who he died for on the cross. Now he's preaching to them the gospel. Hey, I just saved you. Once, once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah while the ark was a preparing. So during that time period... It was about a year that Noah was building the ark. God was long-suffering before he brought the flood to destroy it to save those people. Wherein few, that is eight souls, were saved by water. Noah was not baptized. God flooded the whole world. They were, there, they were saved because they were in the ark. They weren't baptized. They didn't go under the water. They actually were on top of the water. This was not water baptism. <laughs> All right. So the like figure, he's saying this is just an, a, a like figure, an analogy, an example. Um, whereunto even baptism doth also now save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh. So this is not water baptism. It's the Holy Spirit baptism, see? But the answer of a good conscience toward God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So this has nothing to do with water. He's letting you know not the putting away of the filth of the flesh. That water baptism is not what does it. It's the baptism of the Holy Ghost that does that. Who has gone into heaven and is on the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. So that's it doesn't Noah did not get water baptized. Where did it say, and who did the water baptism for him? <laughs> who was it? Was John the Baptist back there doing it? Was Noah's sons doing it for him, and he did it for his sons? They just make up stuff. It's not fair. So, hold on. All right, let's go. So I hope that answers your question, man. I'm kind of wrapping up my day, man. Trying to give you get some answers to your question, man. I would say put all those books away that's confusing you. Read the Bible. Quit asking questions to people and just read it for yourself and let God talk to you, man. You need not that any man teach you. So um, you're being confused because you're hearing what other people are saying. If you read the Bible for yourself, it won't say water baptism saves at all or repentance saves. None of that saves. Only Jesus saves. Oh, okay. So we before we go, can you uh, just have, just make a – so why would the New King James Version be accurate? Because it, it, it says different words than the King James. So oh, okay. One, one so has to be the true, King another one has to be false. There's there's actual errors. There's So if, it's, if there's one error in God's Word, it's not God's Word. God cannot lie. Titus 1-2. So if you go to Titus 1-2, all right? 
Okay. It says, in hope of eternal life, which which God that cannot lie. It's impossible for him to lie. It's not that he doesn't lie. He cannot lie. Promise before the world began. So if God cannot lie, then there cannot be one error or lie in the scripture. So if there's a lie or an error in that Bible, then it's not of God. It's of a familiar spirit. It's a devil spirit. That's why I don't even want to hear it. I only want to hear the Holy Spirit, the word of God. Okay, okay, okay. Somebody, well, that one little last part we went over with the Peter thing. Somebody just said that, well, this right here what proves that water baptism is part of salvation. Yeah, well, you keep, people keep saying that, but it's, it doesn't say that. It's not talking about that. He's saying the like figure. So if I said um, even a, a, a like figure, say these are um, two twins and one is a like figure of the other, they're not the same thing. They look alike. It's a similarity. It's an analogy is pointing to, but it's not talking about water baptism. Because wow, telling a person, like, show me somewhere where it is specifically say you have to do water baptism in order to go to heaven. No one can do it because it doesn't say that. But I can show you many places where it specifically says you have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Acts 16, okay, where is that? Where, where? Acts 16.31. Thirty and thirty one. It says, What must I do to be saved? Acts sixteen, thirty and thirty one. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thy house. Alright. So I can show you where specifically the okay, it says okay. Acts sixteen, thirty and thirty one. Could you read that for me real quick? Just small apart. Okay. And then I'll go after this because I gotta get going, man. Okay, okay, right. okay. Acts 16, 30, and 31. And then I'm going to see what it's going to say in my, my part, in my, my book. So I want to hear. And brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? It's very clear. So you would think if it was repentance or water, or, or water baptism, it would say that in the next verse. The next verse says, And they said... At the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. The reason why he said, and thy house, because the very next verse says, And they spake unto him the word of the Lord, and to all that were in the house. So everyone that was in the house, which is the church in the house, believed, they heard the word, and they believed. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see now. Um, Yeah, so uh, I know you got some stuff going on. I was just calling because I did see uh, baptism, but I was thinking to myself, I understand why you saying that you won't, you know, you won't, you know, uh, I'm not going to preach what's not in the Bible. If it doesn't say it, I won't preach it. So it doesn't say that. Yeah. All right, man. So All right. I hope I answered your question, man. Thanks. All right. All right. I give you a call. Yep.